What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, this morning we are dealing with let's see here USPS denying claims, and let's just check this out here. We've got here's my claim history. You can see this I just appealed this fifty dollar plate denied, 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 paid, paid, denied, paid, paid. It was so much easier back in 2018. Um, it just seems like, I mean, I got all the way through this, it was fine, up until about 2020, and then it just denied, 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 denied. I don't know if that's because they were just paying too much out. I don't really know. But in any event, I got this piece of paper saying that I didn't have enough sufficient evidence, even though I supplied the order transaction or the order details sheet to them which outlined everything they're asking here. The only thing that was missing was my name on it. So I'm guessing maybe that's gonna help. I have no idea. But it's not surprising because USPS sucks when it comes to doing this kind of thing. Um, I am gonna put up, if you check this out, this is the, the box. I was expecting it to be denied. I thought it would be denied because, uh, so I, you know, I filed a claim and then I had to wait a week and a half and then they asked me to bring in the, the box and the contents. So I brought that in and the, bro the box is just smashed. Um, and so as you can see, I'll just put a picture up or something. But uh, yeah, I was expecting it to be denied, but I didn't think it would be denied because I didn't have the proper forms turned in. Um, it just, it's one thing after another with USPS. It just never, never works out very well. Just like they just make you jump through hoops. And in any event, I called USPS, and that's a nightmare. If you're trying to figure out how to get a hold of USPS, you can go to, if you just go to Google, and you type in USPS agent, or USPS claim agent, and then you can go to try to track down the accounting phone number. And that's the number to call. Don't call any other number. Call the accounting number. And just wait there. But it's not very helpful. She ended up telling me that I needed the same thing. It just basically said on here. It says that you need a computer printout of an online transaction identifying the purchaser and seller, price paid, date of transaction, description of item purchased, and assurance that the transaction status is complete. Hey, Brian. Thank you so much for your patience with me on that one. Um, so I was just confirming, we don't have anything that's like going to, it's either going to show the transaction or it's going to show like the order details. Um, so I mean, in your payments, you know, you have that breakdown showing, you know, what you paid for final value fees and things like that. And then in the order details, you've got everything that's kind of involved with the order. Um, so that's going to be the only thing is that there's really no way to put these, <laughs> yeah. this information together, you know? They don't have that. They don't have one form, as you just heard. They don't have that form on eBay. Like they just don't have a form with everything like that on it. The closest thing you have is the uh, so you have the order details, and then you also have the packing slip, which will show your address and your name on there as well. But either way, we'll just have to see where this goes. It's just so frustrating when you just like, you know, you just have. 100 things to do. I still have to go to the post office this morning and you're dealing with USPS and it's like oh, it's like trying to deal with like someone on like the Henry Ford line and like you have a problem with your steering wheel and you're talking to someone that puts on the wheels. Like they just like it's two different people. And all right, we're going to go get uh we got to go get a shirt. Then we're going to get out of here. All right. In any event, Hopefully this all works out. As you can see, it's a little bit frustrating dealing with these things. But uh, hope you guys are having an awesome Tuesday. And uh, see how this day turns out. If you guys have experience dealing with USPS in your claim history, I would love to hear about it. Because mine seems to be really shitty. And I don't know if it's something that I'm doing wrong or what. But if you're getting your claims filled every single time, I would love to know how. Um, Alright, I'll check back in the comments, see what you guys have to say.